I would like to thank my subscriber, Money Making Melvin, for this article. It's from the Business Insider. The end for Tesla is closer than you think. Save yourselves. Tesla is turning on the charm after leasing and rental car companies say the value of their fleets have plummeted, but it may not be enough, says the report. This is by Kelsey Vlamis. Tesla is taking action to appease leasing and rental car companies in Europe, but they saw what happened to Hertz, who say the value of their Tesla fleets have sharply declined, according to a new report from Reuters. Now, you guys remember when Tesla was slashing prices with all of the, a lot of the other EV companies, in fact, almost all of them except NIO. But why did Emperor Lee decide not to slash prices? This is another reason why, guys. The outlet spoke because remember, when Elon sold all these electric cars to Hertz and other companies like this in Europe, and then he slashed prices, they took a big loss. The outlet spoke to nine executives from top firms. The outlet spoke to nine executives from top firms who said Tesla is now offering them discounts <laughs> on new cars and is working to address long-standing and long-ignored complaints about the company's service and repairs. Let me say that again. And is working to address long-standing and long-ignored complaints about the company's service and repairs. And remember, I've always told you guys that the founder of Merck Pharmaceutical said, you put the customer first and all else will follow. Tesla failed to do that miserably. Look it up, guys. I know people who have worked for Tesla and said when wheel bolts and things were falling off, they would blame the customer horrible customer service and this is why i told you they have a horrible uh, business model that is going to fall completely save yourselves the report comes after tesla lowered the prices of some of its models in europe last month which in turn lowered the value of tesla fleets owned by companies whose lease or rent the electric vehicles tesla is now actively telling our members we can give you discounts and compensate you Richard Newbin, the Director General of the Leasing and Rental Car Industry Group, Lurs Rope, told Reuters. But see, I blame them also for that. But anyway, Tesla residuals have dropped so fast, I'm not sure the discounts they're offering are enough. And that's a quote from the manager. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment sent by Business Insider. Are you guys surprised? They have a habit of doing this. The complaints by the European firms come as Tesla faces declining demand for EVs. Listen to that again. The complaints by the European firms come as Tesla faces declining demand for EVs and an increase in competition. From who? Particularly in the Chinese market. Tesla had a disappointing first quarter of 2024, reporting a 20% decline in car sales from the previous quarter and its first year-over-year -year decline in sales since 2020. Expect that to continue, money-making makes that year first. Tesla also announced plans last month to cut more than 10% of its workforce and the layoffs have been ongoing since. Reuters reported Tesla now has a damage control campaign underway to woo European car leasing and rental firms, which accounted for 44% of Tesla sales in the UK and more than a dozen European countries, European Union countries in 2023. The outlet reported citing Dataforce, a market research company. In addition to the declining value of fleets, Reuters reported sources at the firms also complain that Tesla's service and repairs on Tesla vehicles take too long and are too expensive compared to other car makers. Now remember I told you guys um, when it comes to service, with battery as a service, even if you break down for a flat tire, we come and rescue you. Superior customer service will always win the day. Also, the article goes on to talk a lot about how um, China 
is Tesla's biggest market for selling their EVs and they are declining horribly. The article also talks about um, how this trend will most likely continue to Tesla not doing their research and development to keep up with the Chinese manufacturers. And you guys can get this on the Business Insider and it was written by Kelsey Vlamis. This is why I was telling you guys, a lot of people say, Mitch, you just bashing Tesla. And I said, no, it's not bashing. It's just pointing out the facts. The writing is on the wall. You need to save yourself. People look at the share price and say, oh my God, it's a great company. Like my buddy Pasquale, that's a company. Because he looks at the share price and he doesn't look at what the company is doing. And when they pull the rug out from under him, he will be sorely, sorely sorry for what he has done. I hope you guys found this video to be informational, inspirational and motivational and educational to a certain extent. And like I said, you guys can get this on the business inside. If this video did that for you guys, guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we are waking up the middle class to the game to get a piece of the pie. And like Fitty said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.